Okay, outside right now, we're talking about a low overcast. We have some fog out there as well. And from the fog, the low clouds, a little bit of drizzle, nothing all that heavy yet. I think that's going to be changing very late tonight into the first part of tomorrow. So get ready, have the umbrellas ready to go. Another wave of moderate to at times heavy rainfall likely to move in and right around the morning commute. So not good timing there. 47 to 50 is the range around town. Humidity 93% a gentle north breeze in here at three miles per hour. The radar scan not looking all that bad. Nothing out there that's heavy, just a little bit of mist, a little bit of drizzle from the fog, the low clouds overhead. As we pull out and take a look at the viewing area, few light showers as we head south of Cincinnati, south of Covington. Also a few sprinkles starting to form in between Litchfield and Bowling Green, but the bigger batch is moving in our direction. You can see it from just west of Paducah down to west of Memphis. And this heavier rain with embedded thunder and lightning is indeed working off towards the northeast. And we'll be here late tonight through the first part of tomorrow. Matter of fact, here's the future clouds and radar. And we're jumping ahead here, 3 o'clock in the morning. Here it comes, coming up the Ohio River. Uh, area and uh, on into southern Indiana, western Kentucky, and uh, that'll be the first batch of heavy rain to move through. Little break tomorrow afternoon, and look at this. Here we go again. Very, very late tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Another batch of heavy rainfall expected at that time. That will tend to clear out during the afternoon hours on Saturday. And then finally, the third batch will be building in here as we move into Saturday evening, Saturday early overnight. And this batch could have a little bit more what we call jet stream energy associated with it. If, in fact, we have a little bit of instability out ahead of that batch, some of these storms could be strong, potentially severe. So we'll have to watch that very, very closely. But nonetheless, another batch of heavy rain likely at that time. So that would be probably three more batches of heavy rain before things start to improve as we move through the day on Sunday. And we should see big time improvements by Sunday afternoon as a lot of sunshine returns to the region. But not before, after you add up all those rain uh, bouts moving through, not before an additional two to four inches of rain that will fall across much of the Ohio River Basin area, really from about the parkways and points off to the north. There could be isolated four inch amounts in that zone as well. A little bit lighter tallies as you work off towards the south and southeast. Of course, that much water, that is going to have uh, serious implications on the Ohio River. So we'll definitely keep you posted as far as the water levels go. So here's your forecast. Overnight, we'll be right around 50 the next several hours. Late tonight after 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, rain, a few storms will be diving in here from the west and southwest. We're going to wake up to some rain. Some of that could be locally heavy. So allow extra time to get to your destinations on your Friday morning commute. Allow extra time to get those kiddos to school as well. We're 65 by the middle of the day tomorrow. Scattered showers. Some of that rain will be lightening up just a little bit. And then later tomorrow afternoon, I think we'll have another window of dry air building in. Still a lot of clouds. Temperatures mild around 62. Okay, here's the seven-day forecast. As we push into late tomorrow night, Saturday morning, another batch. Then Saturday night, another batch, and then there you go. The cold front moves through. A lot of dry air funnels in. We're talking 58 sunshine Sunday afternoon. And temperature is pretty nice as we head into next week. A mix of upper 50s and lower 60s by day, 30s and lower 40s at night. And uh, Rick, Freddie, the, the rain chance you see next Wednesday and Thursday, nothing, nothing like what we've been picking up this week and will pick up the next two to three days. So good news there. So